We are going to look at constructing a histogram. There are several steps that we are going to go through. One of the first steps that you should probably do is organize your data. Uh, I have the data on the next page. This is our data set. It's not a very large data set. You probably could do this without a calculator. But let's go through the process of putting these numbers into the calculator. All right, so remember the steps. Hit your stat button, pick edit. Now if you have numbers in your list, go ahead and get rid of those. Go all the way to the top, hit clear, and then enter. All right, now type the numbers in. I'm going to pause for a few seconds and type them in without recording. So the next time you see this, the numbers will be typed in. All right, so I have typed the numbers in. Again, this is our data set. And you should have the numbers typed in, or you would type them into your calculator. Order does not matter in this situation when you type them in. However, we want to use the calculator to put the numbers in order from least to greatest. Because when we make our histogram, it's going to be a lot easier to put the numbers into each bin or each class if we have the numbers in order. So that's the reason for this. So remember, hit your stat button, pick number two, sort A for ascending, tell it the list, remember hit second, and then hit the number at the bottom. So list one would be the number one, close it, enter. Okay, go back to your stat edit and your numbers should be in order from smallest to least. Okay, so that would be your first step. Go ahead and get the data organized. All right, let's discuss how we're going to set up our classes or how many bars we want to put on our histogram. Now remember, we're going to have our X and Y axis. So here's our Y axis. Here is our x-axis. We need to figure out what are we going to count by on the x-axis. What are we going to set up each class as? Are we going to count by twos? Are we going to count by threes? Are we going to count by fives? Are we going to count by tens? Okay, we have to figure that out. So one thing we can do to help us with that is figure out the range. Okay, that would be one thing. So let's go ahead and find the range for this data set. So the highest is 46 and the lowest is 5. So our range is 41. Now statisticians or people that who make these graphs the general rule is we want 5 to 20 classes now fewer than 5 remember you lose too much information or more than 20 you're going to lose too much information so we want somewhere between 5 to 20 classes so you decide, how many bars do we want? Okay, how many classes do we want? Well, let's say we want 10. Okay, we want, to, we want 10 bars going across our graph. So we're going to take our range, 4 point, or 41, and we're going to divide it by how many classes we want. So this is our range, and we have 10, we want 10 bars or 10 classes. Okay, if we divide that, we get 4.1. Well, I'm not going to count by 4.1, okay? I'm not going to go 4.1, 8.2, and so on. So I'm going to look at what I have written at the bottom, and it looks like I don't want to count by threes, so it looks like I want to count by fives. Fours might be okay, but we don't often count by fours. So when we make our histogram, we're going to start at zero, and based on this 4.1, I think we're going to count by fives. Five. 10, 15, 20, and so on. Okay, I'm going to switch screens and I'm going to have it set up on the next screen to talk about the next part. Okay, I've got the graph set up. 
On my x-axis, again, I've got counting by fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. And notice on the bottom I have label. Okay, this is just plain, ordinary data set. It's not specific for anything. But when you're looking at or graphing your data, make sure you label your x-axis with whatever it is it's dealing with. Make sure you give it a title. And on the side, that's where we put our count or our frequency. Okay, how many there are. So we're going to begin. So we're going to look at the calculator. Do we have any numbers from 0 up to 5? Okay, we have a 5, but we don't include that in the first, in the first class. So no, we don't have any numbers from 0 up to 5. So there is no bar on this first one. Okay, so the next class is 5 up to 10. So we take a look. How many numbers do we have from 5 up to 10? I see two of them. So on our histogram, we're going to start at the 5. We're going to go up 2, over, back down on the 10. Okay, if you look at the calculator again, how many numbers do we have between 10 and 15? Up to 15, we have three of them. So that bar is going to go up three. And remember, the bar should be the same width. Okay, do not change widths on the bar. All right, then we go to the next one from 15 up to 20. Okay, so let's see, we've got 15 up to 20, we've got one, two, three, four of them. So this bar will go up four and back down. Okay, to save a little bit of time from 20 up to 25, I'm not going to go back to the calculator, but we have two of them. So that means that bar is going to go up two. Okay, so from 20 to 25. The next one, there are three numbers from 25 up to 30. So three numbers. So again, up three, over, back down. From 30 to 35, there are five numbers. So we're going to go up five, over, back down. Sorry, it's a little crooked. The next one, there are two numbers. Okay, there aren't any from 40 to 45, but then there is one from 45 to 50. Okay, so again, real quick, organize your data by putting it into the list in the calculator. Organize it. Then figure out how many classes do I want? Okay, anywhere from 5 to 20. Well, to help you figure that out, find the range. Take how many classes or how many bars you want. Divide the range by that. You're going to get a number. And then based on that number, decide how you're going to count. Are we going to count by twos? No. 4.1 is not close. Threes? Not really. Fives is probably pretty good. Uh, definitely not by tens because then we'd have too few bars. And then go ahead and look at your calculator and put the bar in place, go up how many it goes, and then back down again. All right, that should do it.